Good evening, everyone. Kevin McDonald here. Um, talk, going to spend a little bit of time with you tonight talking about no money down. Can you still do no money down deals? Is no money down dead? Are there different ways today of doing no money down than there was, say, 10 years ago? So buy, refurbish, refinance is something you could do 10 years ago before the crash. You cannot do that now. Same day refinances. You can still buy, refurbish, refinance, but you can't do buy and refer refinance on the same day. So a mortgage express product from about 10 years ago allowed you to buy, buy today and then refinance to a different mortgage product in the afternoon and pull all your money out. You can't do that anymore. People talk about not being able to do no money down anymore. Um, but you can, you still can. By the way, I'm doing a bit of a test here, so apologies if I'm looking away from the screen. I'm live into the progressive community on my laptop and I'm live into my own page. Hi, Andrew. Live onto my own page um, on my phone. So I'd be looking at either camera if that's okay. If you're in the progressive community, could you just say hi? Hi, Dion, you've just joined us. We've got lots of people joining me live on my own profile, a few on my own page. Hi, Damien. Hi, Rory, good to see you, Rory. Jonas, hi, Jonas, good to have you online tonight as well. So if you've got any questions, hey, Thomas, um, any questions around no money down property investing, if you want to put, put them in the comments box, I'll try and keep them on top of them if I can. If I miss a comment, because I'm running off a of phone and the community, so if, if I miss a comment on either one, just repost it, because loads of people are saying hi and stuff is, is going through the screen really quickly. So um, as I said, it's all about no money down. Can you still do no money down property investing right now in, the, in today's market? Um, hi, David, greetings. Um, what type of no money down deals can you do? If anybody's online and you've done no money down deals already, what deals have you done? What sort of strategies have you used? Because there's lots of different strategies that you can do right now in the market to get properties literally with none of your own funds. Hi, Alex. So Paul joined, Deborah, Darren, Paul. So lots of people joining us. So um, questions-wise, who'd like? who's got any questions for me? Anybody want to know um, specifics around any certain no money down strategy? So we're talking things like rent to rent. Um, it's a cash flow strategy. You can get control of other people's properties using none of your own money. Things like lease options. Lease options gives you control, control of other people's mortgages. Using tenant buyers for properties, where you can get help first-time buyers get on the property market. Um, other strategies, things like vendor finance, using the homeowners to fund the property deal, joint venture finance, private investor finance, assisted sales. So if you're interested in buy to flip, what about don't buy to flip? So not buying the property, but flipping it on for a profit, where you joint venture with the homeowner in what's called an assisted sale. So lots and lots of different strategies. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what ones you'd like me to discuss, and I'll have a conversation around those strategies. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Brody. Um, Edgars, Ewan. So lots of people joining us. So who'd like to kick it off? Who's got a sort of a concern, a query, anything you're unsure of about the current market? And I'm here for you for this evening just to answer your questions. Hi, Lewis, joining us as well. So, um, what's, Thomas saying, what strategies work back in Ireland? So really good questions, Thomas. So obviously, I'm Irish, I'm from Mayo, but I'm based in the UK now, and I've been based in the UK for a number of years. Um, lots of strategies work in Ireland. Lease options work in Ireland. Massive strategy right now with, with people in financial difficulties over there. And tenant buyers work in Ireland. Rent to rent works in Ireland, but you do need to join venture with somebody who's a licensed letting agent. But that's quite easy. Lots of people doing rent to rent in Ireland where they join venture with a licensed letting agent. They source the deals and the letting agents manages in the joint venture with them. So rent to rent work over there. Assisted sales, a really good strategy in Ireland. And obviously joint venturing, raising funds, that sort of stuff. All of that works in the Irish market as well. So pretty much all of the no money down strategies that I use in the UK today work in Ireland as well. The one thing I would say is, is in Scotland, lease options don't work in Scotland. So apart from that, the strategies work across the UK. Um, rent to rents work in Scotland, just not lease options. So Scottish law solicitors won't um, sign off a lease option contract in Scotland. Uh, so Deborah saying, HMOs, is it easy to get a landlord to add an extra bathroom if going via increased occupancy? So Deborah, so number one is why do you want an extra bathroom? So is there a reason why you want to add an extra bathroom to the house? Because one of the things I always say is, 
And, and on your terms of HMO, Deborah, do you mean on a rent to rent HMO or do you mean on a purchase of a HMO? So if it's a rent to HMO, then my advice would be not to spend money on putting in new bathrooms. Look for a property that already is the right layout. It scares me when I see people with bathroom, with properties, and they start spending 20, 30 grand on somebody else's home. You don't need to spend 20, 30 grand on somebody else's property. Look for the deals that are, the properties that are already the right layout. Maybe it just needs a lick of paint, a little bit of cosmetic work, furnishing, and get it rented out. Sometimes you might need to fit fire doors or smoke systems to get to extend on top of the regulations, but um, so because you always make, want to make sure you, you are adhering to whatever the local reg regulations are and the national regulations. But um, I don't, I, it scares me. Don't, don't put new bathrooms, en suites, add, uh, add extensions, this sort of stuff to somebody else's property. It's not yours. So um, I'd say, Deborah, if you can clarify a bit more to increase the occupancy on a rent to rent, you, you, you really don't want to be doing that on a rent to rent unless you can get your money back out of the deal in about six months. So if the cost of adding the bathroom means you get the money out in six months, then it's a good idea. How do you convince the landlord? Well, are you asking, are you going to pay for the work or is the landlord going to put in the new bathroom? Because if the landlord's putting the new bathroom in, it's very unlikely that you're going to get him to say yes to that. One way it would work is if you split the cost with them. Because if you put in 50% of the money to add a new bathroom to his house, he's going to have his property increased in value through the new bathroom. So it's a win-win. It's a but again, some landlords will say yes to that, some won't. I've had deals where we've had landlords put 50% of the money in. I've had deals where landlords have put all of the money in to improve their properties. But it, it really does depend on the landlord and what the cost of the works is. I would try and focus on not having to do that in the first place, though. So I hope, hope that helps. Um, questions that have flying in. Lots of people have just joined. I said I'm running off. My, I'm, I'm doing this live directly into my own profile in, in, in Facebook, but I'm also into the progressive property community. Anyone on my own profile who's not in the progressive property community, look for progressive property on Facebook and add them. Join the group. There's 20,000 people in there, active property investors. Make sure you get in there and get involved with some really good information on there. So I'm um, sorry if I'm looking away from camera and stuff. It's just I'm running off two screens. Hi, Jonathan, long time no see. Great to have you online. Jonathan used to play pool with me down in London years ago. Good to have you online tonight. Um, Deborah, cool, okay, thanks, Deborah. Anyone else, any other questions? So Dave, may it be worth checking, but neither of you feed the, you know, neither feed in the progressive community. Ah, interesting. I'm gonna shut one feed down and see if I can get in the progressive community. If I cut you off, I'm going to end the live feed. If I cut you off on the live feed, apologies, I'll cut the one off on my phone. If I do, um, can you just re-log back on, guys? So I'm looking at you here. If you're on this feed, I'm going to cut you off. Can you re-log back on in a second? So I'm going to move this over to the progressive community. Apologies. I think I might have got two on the same one. I was sure I was in progressive, though. Hopefully you're still here, get a few more people on here, and I'll um, be back in a moment. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes while people are logging on. One moment, guys. Hi, everyone. Hopefully, I'm now in the progressive community over here as well. Technical issues. I went the same place twice. So just for those joining me, if you are in the progressive community, come on live. Just say hi. If you can put a comment below, make sure I'm in there. So this tonight's all about no money down. I'm running this live on my own profile and in the progressive community. So if you just say hi that you're in the community, make sure I'm in the right place. And um, we're going to get started in a mo moment. It's all about no money down investing. Can you still do it? What sort of strategies work in today's market compared to what used to work years ago? So I'm always meeting people who are saying to me, no money down no longer works. It absolutely works. Hi, Manila. Hi, hi Steve. Um, 
it absolutely still works. It's just strategies to how towards yes, strategies today are different to the strategies that were available to use 10 years ago. So what you've got to do is always stay in touch with the market, always stay up to date with the current strategies that work. Hi Linda, and make sure that you are up to date with legislation, up to date with what works in the current market. Make sure you've got people around you who understand what works today. So you're not doing something that you shouldn't be doing. But things like in 2008, you could do a day like refinance where you, you bought a property and in, in the morning and in the afternoon, you could immediately refinance it onto a different product and pull all of your money back out and go and do the same thing again. That doesn't work anymore. We've had to develop and learn new strategies. So what I was going to cover tonight, and I've already shared it on my own profile, but things like assisted sales. Think, assisted sales is where you don't buy, refurbish and sell. So you joint venture with the homeowner. Things like rent to rent, it's a cash flow, no money down strategy. Things like rent to buy, rent to own. Strategies like lease options, assisted sales, as I said. Using other people's money, joint venture finance raising. Using the homeowner themselves to finance the property deal. So lots of people coming online on the community now, we're in the right place, I don't. Um, so I said, if anybody's got any questions, anybody you want to share, share anything, um, anything you're unsure of, any deal you're currently working on, anyone who's done a deal already, a no money down type deal, and you want to share a little bit about it, um, just ask away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself available for the evening, and I'll try and get through as many questions as possible. Because there's loads of questions appearing, if I don't answer your question within about five minutes of posting it, just repost the question because it'll mean it'll have disappeared off my screen. So um, over to you guys. Um, hi to everyone in the community. Hi everyone on my own personal profile. Hi Dara, nice to have you online. Um, hi Chris. So who'd like to go for go and ask a question? Anything around lease options, assisted sales, um, marketing even. Maybe what area you should invest in. Hi Yvonne. So maybe if you're struggling with an area to invest. Where do you get started? How do you get started? So whatever it may be, um, what's your questions? We've got lots of people online, so who'd like to, who'd like to start? Who's got a question, a concern, a share? Um, I'm here for you. So what would you like to talk about? Anybody? Maybe we look while we think people are thinking of questions. Let's look at where do you start? Where do you invest? Um, I see people all the time. Talking to, oh, I've got a question actually from David. I'll come back to where you invest. Could you describe owner financed sale, please? Hi, David. So, owner financed sale. Lots of people think that, so what we're talking about is vendor finance, I guess, David. So, there's different ways that you can do vendor finance, um, but there's also certain types of vendor finance that are illegal. So, you've got to be very careful on how you do it. But an owner finance sale is generally where you'll joint venture with the homeowner to sell that property. One type of vendor finance is assisted sales. And apologies if I'm looking away from different cameras. I've got, I'm on two different lives, so I'll try and look at each camera as I go. So apologies if I'm not watching you. Um, but with, a, with a, a vendor finance, it's where the homeowner will join venture with you in the sale of their property. Now, there's different ways you could do that. One could be on an assisted sale where they, you put money into the property and it could be joint venture finance money, borrowed money, where you re refurbish their property, add value to it, and then you and the homeowner sell that property together. The benefit of this, for anyone who's interested in buy to flip, is you don't have to pay stamp duty because you don't have to buy the property. You don't have to take out your own mortgage while you're doing the works. The homeowner keeps the mortgage to keep the property in their name, and you've got a joint venture assisted sale agreement which gives you a percentage of that profit. 